Hi, my name is Alessandro Zocchi and in this video we are going to talk about three study strategies with a moderate efficacy. So experts say that these strategies are quite good strategies and we should use them as much as possible, although as we'll see in the next video there are even better ones. What are these uh, strategies? Well, the first one is called the interleaved practice, the second is the elaborative interrogation, and the last one is the self-explanation strategy. Let's start uh, with the first one. Interleaved practice happens uh, when, uh, while studying, doing some homework or practicing uh, some new concept that uh, we have to learn, we will introduce, or more likely our teacher will introduce, solving a different problem that refers to another concept that we studied sometime earlier. Let's make an example. Let's say that we have to solve four mathematical problems. Well, three of them will be on the new topic that we have to study, but one, a fourth one, will be on a rule previously. The second strategy is the so-called elaborative interrogation. It implies uh, trying to build an explanation uh, from the students, of course, uh, trying to say why a specific fact happened or a process uh, can develop. It's a technique that can be used very well in the classroom when a teacher, for example, asks students why, in their opinion, a fact happened, even though the students uh, don't have all the important data to answer correctly. As you can see, it's a kind of thinking, of even guessing or elaborating the information that will help the students make the new concept stick in their minds. The teacher, of course, will guide them towards the proper understanding of the concept during the whole process. The downside of such technique, and that's why it's considered of moderate impact on learning, is that it cannot be used for every subject or concept, especially if they are very complicated or particularly abstract. It also usually needs an active role of the teacher and so students cannot apply it independently. The last strategy we want to talk about today is a self-explanation. This is describing or explaining to ourselves, or maybe to someone else, the new concept, trying to connect and relate it to some old information that we have acquired in the past, or explaining the steps that we have taken to solve maybe some specific problem. As the previous strategy, uh, one can Im easily imagine that it's a very good way to recall and especially organize the new information, with the added help of connecting uh, the, the data with previously acquired knowledge, or to pay more attention to the specific uh, procedures that we have uh, chosen to solve a problem. All this will help our mind to memorize much better all the data, all the information and in brief the lesson that we have to learn. According to experts indeed, more and more studies are indicating that this strategy will be upgraded to a high level of efficacy. Maybe it doesn't work for all concepts or for uh, every occasion, but the level of thinking it stimulates is definitely very high. Well, that's it for this second video. In the next one, we're going to see what are the absolutely best two study strategies that every serious learner should apply routinely.